Well, I decided to do another quick video. Um, I was saying that I'd kind of like to go home this weekend, um, which is a three and a half hour drive from where I live um, to my hometown. And I don't know if I will or not. Um, if I decide to, I'm just going to get in the truck and just go. I'm just going to throw some clothes in a bag and go. Um, I kind of like to see my dad. I kind of got the bug to go home and I kind of like to see him. And I know he's going to take, like, either Saturday or Sunday and go to this lady's house. Um, and my mom's best friend's house. And he's going to mow her yard and all that kind of stuff. And, which I'll be, I'll stay at home. I'll stay at the house and just do something. Because um, I don't want to go to her house. I don't really. She's, she's okay and everything, but she gets on my nerves. And I don't want to, like, go to her house and sit there while he gets grass. I just. She, she gets on my nerves. I don't really... She's a nice lady and everything, but she just... She's kind of... I don't know. She just gets on my nerves. That's about all I can say. Um, but... I like to see my brother's kids, too. Um, but there's always that chance that I go down there and something will happen and I don't get to see them, but... Um, I don't know. Um... I don't know if I'll go or not. I always, if I say that I'm going to go, then I always end up backing out and don't go. Um, it's really hard for me to, like, get up the courage to go home because, like, this time, like, since May, I've gained, like, 18 pounds. And, you know, what are they going to say? They're gonna, are they going to say, like, oh, my God, she's gained more weight. And I talked to my therapist about this. And my therapist says, you know, who are they, you know? She said, you're, you're trying to work on it, and more than likely, you know, it's the medicine that's caused it, and it's not like you're sitting on your ass trying to do, not doing anything about it. You're going to the gym every day, you're working on it, you know, you're trying to take care of the problem, you're not stuffing your face with food, and, you know, you're not sitting on your ass doing nothing about the problem. And um, she said she's going to talk to the psychiatrist about the medicine anyway, again, and, you know, maybe we can make some changes or something, um, because, you know, it's not like I'm sitting on my ass doing nothing, you know, I'm, I'm in the gym, I'm trying to work out, trying to get this weight off, and especially the 18 pounds that I've gained since May, which was totally uncalled for, because, it just, it was, it's totally uncalled for, and it's just, I just don't know what the hell, I just, it's just unbelievable that you can gain that much amount of weight in that short period of time over one fucking pill, and you can't get it off now, that they've taken me off of it, I can't get it off, it's just, it's just amazing, so, anyway, I've got my fear about going home and facing them with the more weight that I put on since they saw me last. And she said, well, if you want to go home, just go home and don't fucking worry about it. Basically is what she said. And I'm like, well, it's hard not to worry about it because you, like, wonder what they think of you and how they look at you and stuff. Because they, they were used to me being thin. And they were used to me being really, really thin. And, <laughs> Lord God, I'm not thin anymore. Uh, I'm your chunky child. <laughs> um, I don't know. And I can't stand being in this chunky body. <laughs> it is not, not a good thing. If I could cut my way out, I definitely would. Um... having a lot of trouble with my knees. Um, I have one knee that I had surgery on and it's always giving me a problem. And now I'm like, when I'm in the gym, I'm having trouble with my other knee, the knee that's, that's supposed to be good. Um, I'm having like severe pain with it. And I told dad tonight that I'm going to talk to my medical doctor and see if she'll refer me to, um, 
the doctor that um, I had for, I had a fracture in my hip, and it's an orthopedic doctor, and I'm going to see if I can see that doctor about this knee, um, because I was talking to my, my former boss tonight, and I told him, I said, I have an incredible knee pain, and I said, something is going on with my knee, and I said, because I walk like about two and a half miles, maybe three miles, and every night, and, I mean, I can't hardly get up and down the stairs because my knee feels like it's going to, like, pop out of place. And that's what happened to my other knee. It did pop out of place for no reason. And if the other one does that, I will totally shit my hands <laughs> because it hurt so bad. And it's hurting really bad right now. And I just, you know, I want, her, I want somebody to look at it and say, you know, does it need something? Does it need some type of surgery before something really bad happens to it? Um, before something does bad happen to it? Or, you know, because there's this grinding, cracking noise in it. And it's it's really feeling bad. And Dad said tonight, he's like, oh, God, I hope you don't need surgery on it. I'm thinking, well, if it's going to make it feel better, then I wish that they would do something for it. If it's not going to make it feel better, then just leave the fucker alone because it hurts bad enough. Um, but, you know, I do want somebody to look at it because it's hurting really bad. And um, if it's going to make me walk better, make me feel better. And then he says, well, there's a lot of weight on that knee. And I'm like, well, fuck, you know. It's not like I'm not trying to do something about it, you know. And my knees were screwed up to begin with because when I weighed like 100 pounds... Um, my knees were still killing me, so, what the fuck, you know? It's just, things are just really getting on my fucking nerves, you know? Just, I need to stop saying that word. Things are just really getting on my nerves. Um, I'm sorry about the bad language. Um, I'm cleaning it up because, um, I don't need to be saying that. But... Things are just really getting on my nerves. Um, I don't know. You know, my... I really want to find a job. And my degree is in... Background is in, cr in criminal justice and corrections. And I've always wanted to be a police officer. And I know you don't have to have a degree to do all that. But, I can't run because of my knees. And, it was really dragging me down. I've never been able to pass the police test because of my running is not right. And, this really drives me insane. And, still, you know, I'm getting older and everything. And, I still can't, I mean, the way my knees are, there's no way I can pass the test. But, I still, you know, have this degree and I still want to do something in law enforcement. And when I go for another job, I want to find something in my career field. I don't want to be stuck in security all my damn life. I, I just don't. But I just don't know what else I can find job-wise other than working in the prison system or the correctional system. And I really don't want to work with inmates again. Um, I just don't. So I'm just like... All these thoughts are going through my head, and the time's fixing to run out again. And I really don't want to make another video tonight. Um, I don't know. I've just got all these thoughts rolling around in my head. I know I'm rambling about this, and I'm jumping back and forth with that. And my head's bubbling back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I guess I've confused y'all enough. And if anybody's watching my videos... <laughs> Which I don't think there's far and few between that are, but those that you, those of you that are, thank you for watching. And um, I don't know if anybody can think of anything. Let me know. Oh, by the way, I'm actually wearing makeup tonight. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> I actually dressed up today. So anyway, um, I guess I'll see you guys. Take it easy. Bye. Love you guys.